In a time where traditional advertising generates more and more distrust, mainly among younger generations, influencer management is important for brands looking to humanize their messages. Communicating and establishing relationships with customers has become a difficult task, so why not give this task to influencers? They generate conversations with their audience, and the recommendations that they offer feel more authentic than regular advertising to their followers. Do you want to incorporate an influencer campaign in your marketing strategy? In this video, we'll explain how to do it step by step. Let's begin. What steps should you follow to create your influencer campaign? First of all, establish your objectives. You must have a clear start and end point so you don't have to change your strategy mid-campaign. The smaller the number of objectives and the more concrete they are, the more effective your strategy will be. Ideally, an influencer marketing campaign should focus on one or two objectives. Let's review the most common objectives. Visibility. Brands that choose visibility try to make a name for themselves on social networks and make an impact on users. These campaigns tend to involve a great number of influencers who are perfectly aligned with the brand or the service. The important metrics for campaigns like this are reach and engagement. Branding. These campaigns aim to build a brand's image or associate a certain concept or characteristic with a brand. In doing so, brands become easily recognizable and are associated with a series of attributes and values. When campaigns have branding objectives, they tend to collaborate with influencers with very niche profiles. In such cases, the size of the community is not as important as the influencer's skills. Positioning. Brands that wish to position themselves in the market tend to pursue notoriety and seek to be top of mind in their particular sector. They want to be the first company that pops into the consumer's mind when they think of a certain need. After all, who wants to be just another brand? But how can brands achieve this? By providing consumers with information and explaining the great characteristics of their brand. Traffic. Brands often seek to generate traffic to their websites in order to improve their visibility and positioning. This is achieved with campaigns launched on YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram through competitions and giveaways. These strategies also generate traffic for brands' social network profiles and increase their follower base. Using Instagram stories, for example, allows influencers to add direct links to brand profiles or websites. These mentions may not necessarily lead to a purchase, but the seed will have been planted in the consumer's mind. This traffic is measured by the number of clicks on the URL. Conversion. Conversion is a direct result from increased traffic and is one of the most common campaign objectives. A conversion might be a new sign up, an app install, some action on your sales funnel or the user action you define, even a new customer. Sales. An example of this is giving influencers a unique tracking link with a discount code to share with their followers. This way, the influencer gets paid to share that code and you increase sales with their followers. Their followers can even share the same code with their own audience. Brand loyalty. Sometimes, too much time is dedicated to engaging new customers and brands end up neglecting the current ones. So, what can you do? One option is using brand ambassadors. If you continue to work with a particular influencer, you will retain their followers through time. Another option is creating competitions and encouraging the community to share their experience with the brand and rewarding them for doing so. In conclusion, never draw up an influencer marketing strategy without previously determining the objectives so that all of your actions are aligned and you have the best chance of yielding favorable results. If your goals are clear, all that's left to figure out is how to achieve them. The next step is to define your target audience. A target audience consists of consumers that your product or service is designed for. It's the group of people you are trying to reach with your marketing efforts. You should try to define those profiles very precisely. It's not just the gender and age. We're talking about specific information. Building your target audience consists of knowing their goals, lifestyles, jobs, daily routines, preferences when shopping, habits, desires and interests, and of course, their age, gender, location, income, and education. Another step you should define is your budget. How much are you willing to spend on this campaign? Do you want to invest all at once with one big campaign, or do you want it to last long term? Obviously, your budget will be determined by the influencers you choose. Do you want to hire a big name in social media with a great number of followers, which will cost you a large amount of your investment, or do you prefer to go for a smaller one that may have a smaller but more engaged and loyal audience? 
And also, do you want to invest in ads with your campaign? Do you want the press to know about what you're doing? You should ask yourself all of these questions to correctly define your budget before diving any deeper. What you should do next is look for the influencers that fit your brand and your goals. Get in contact with them and discuss the fee and the content they will post. You should talk about the amount of content they will have to create, whether it's a post, a story, a tweet, or something even bigger, like a photo shoot or an ad campaign. Also, define the amount of content you need them to post and how frequently they need to do so. And of course, create a legal contract with everything you agree upon. This way, if anything gets done differently or any problem occurs, you will have the security of proving what you both agreed to do. Remember to let them be creative and add their personal touch to the promotion because in the end, they're the ones that know their audience best and know what works for them and what doesn't. They should also define the limits of what they feel comfortable with. So don't try to make them do everything you want just because you're paying them. They have a vision and a style that they work with, so don't try to change that. Instead, try to adjust to their style and trust their approach. The next step is to finally launch your campaign. Of course, there are a lot of metrics that you will have to look into to know how your strategy is going. If you want to know more about the statistics of an influencer marketing campaign, say so in the comments so we can make a video about it soon. If you found this video useful, make sure to drop a like and visit Influence City's YouTube channel for everything related to influencer marketing. We publish tutorials, videos about the latest trends, and step-by-step -step guides like this one, so consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.